right, off to do a cold weather run and uh, see how my gear holds up and see how the uh, panel takes bounce. The panel is definitely charging the battery at the moment. All right, we're off for a run. Alright, don't mind the mess in the garage. So, I've already started modifying a few things. Um, the, uh, the mini mate comes with cushioning to basically make it a, uh, a full size bed. I've already uh, taken away the cushioning here because uh, it really it wasn't as comfortable as I wish and I th I'm going to do something different um, but it can be configured in a full 58 inch wide bed getting rid of the cushions uh, or at least make them smaller and only upholstered to uh, say 38 inches which is what I'm intending uh, I end up I'll end up with a flat area here for uh, putting gear on and camera stuff and things like that. Okay, this board is also supposed to be used for a seat. If you look at the uh, uh, the various videos online from uh, the manufacturer and uh, from uh, Open Road Outfitters. <clears throat> I, I've got a better, well, better idea for me on that. Okay, so there's the bed configuration as 37 inches wide. I'm going to have 38. Uh, let you get underneath stuff and let you get into the trailer and have a, a room do stuff. Because of the chipboard, the previous owner or one of the previous owners put a piece of metal in to uh, to hold it stiff. I'm going to find a little bit different way of doing that, and uh, I think while I'm at it, I am going to replace the boards that hold it up. Um, as you can see, the tub is fairly uh, clean. There's nothing going on in there, and uh, I'm going to change that a bit. But I've got an idea of making a, a fold-out table and being able to sit in this quite nicely. So that is uh, what I'm hoping and planning on doing. Now, we're not going to get all that done. We're not going to get everything done this year, uh, but in this next week before I take this out camping again, I do want to replace the bed parts. Okay, there is the uh, bed platform down in its packed for the road uh, configuration so there's enough room for the tent to fold in on top of it. Um, the supports, which would normally be used for that extra piece of, uh, of wood for the extended bed, well, I don't need them to go that far for the, the new bed. And actually, that will give me better configuration and also will give me more room, more room down in here that's clear for the stuff I want to do. And right now, I'm looking at uh, battery for the solar uh, and other odds and ends that I may make a compartment for, for them to be accessible all the time.
The new bed is half inch good one side plywood and I've put a three quarter inch by one inch maple lip and stiffener on it. There is my loose fitting of the setup of my table for the Minimate and uh, a couple little minor things that I have to do but uh, we're ready to uh, sand and stain I think. So that's what's on the agenda this morning. Note that the table is not centered. It's at a convenient place for me to sit and type. Now here's uh, a fun part. I've started drilling holes in the tub and this one near the top is going to be the the inlet for my 12 volt, volt system. This is coming from the solar panel and I painted it red just to remind myself that this is an in. It's going to be hot. And on the other side at the bottom I've put two 12 volt outlets which I can use outside the tent and in the adder room. So this is what the uh, the unit looks like stained. And right now it's looking pretty big and empty with all the padding out and uh, yeah I'm uh, going to be doing a few things there but that's going to be in the spring I'm sure. But I got all that stained and now it's on to the the side units and here's the one that's got my old bike battery in it another two outlets and it's got the charge controller as well so i've got a couple of usb ports on that and looking down inside a mirror image that on the left hand side but left it open to put cables and and stuff things that i need to take but I want readily available and don't want them uh, flying over the place. As I said, the table is slightly offset so I can sit there and type or eat comfortably. Folds down nicely for the packing. Most of this video is shot in the fall, but I realized that I hadn't shown us uh, folding it up. So uh, here I am in minus nine degrees going out just to show how well it folds and uh, and how well those rare earth magnets work. I've got two on the bottom and one at the top. And they're pretty effective. They will keep it in place uh, even when riding and driving. Easy to fold up and there's the rare earth magnets themselves. Washers on the other side to catch. And the, uh, the whole thing of course comes down pretty quick and easy. And you may have seen me eating at that or uh, my year-end review sitting there and with the computer. And then of course the whole thing just comes down but the table stays up in place just with those rare earth magnets. And we'll pop it into the bed configuration. And I would put my air mattress on top of this, blow that up pretty darn quick. It's Thanksgiving weekend and about four days before I'm supposed to head down to North Carolina. So it's time to do a, a good test pack and uh, just see what the the trailer like feels like being pulled when it's actually full. I picked up a lot of uh, containers that uh, I think are going to make my my pack a little bit easier and keep things together. Um, 
So it's like one container's got uh, air mattress, pump, and that sort of thing. This one's my odds and sods, which is everything from uh, extra lanterns uh, and Kleenex and my smaller sleeping bags. And then, oh, there's the, uh, the really small fold-up table. And I've got a couple of containers, uh, different shape than the ones that I just put in, that mostly have got electronics in them. Now, on this trip down, one of them also had the, uh, the little buddy heater and a propane tank in it, but I'm moving all of that to outside storage on the, uh, the tongue of the trailer uh, this spring. Yeah, both of these containers right there are probably going to be nothing but electronics, camera equipment, and, and lights, and that sort of thing by the time I'm finished. I've got one I kind of call the kitchen. It's got my pots and my pans and uh, a lot of cooking gear. It's a bit heavy, so that's why it's on the bottom and towards the back to help offset the tongue weight, I think. And just conveniently, these fit in just very, very nicely. And uh, I've got one more of the, the larger rectangular boxes. And this one's got the awning, the uh, add a room, pegs, ropes, uh, hammer, hatchet, all that sort of thing. So that's all at the back because that's going to be one of the, the last things I'll pack into the unit most times. And of course, what I love with the Mini Mate is now I'm able to take my, my two burner stove. I got juggled exactly where that's going to go, but uh, it's not going to be a, a huge issue. Now, on top of this, usually I'll have the, the awning poles, um, and uh, there's my large, really warm sleeping bag, which made all the difference in the world going down to North Carolina. Uh, now it needs to, I need to find a way of making it a little bit more compact, just a little. And this cushion is probably not what I'm going to be taking with me. Uh, but I'll have something similar. But I got lots of little space left over to, to put stuff. Uh, the, the platform in its down position has got a little bounce because of the cushion. Uh, we, we fixed that when we did the proper pack for for North Carolina but uh, the back of, of this whole thing even when I put the tent down I have got enough space to put my camera bags and uh, oh spare boots sandals sneakers uh, and that sort of thing uh, a couple of of mats one of them I was using on the sleeping platform. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be carrying that permanently with me, but uh, on this trip, yeah, we're still sorting things out. And the little one, of course, is for right outside the door so you can wipe your feet before you, you go too far. this point I've only taken the tent trailer um, I've only put the tent up and down about a half a dozen times uh, it really it it only takes a couple of minutes but you sort of got to get uh, into the, the groove of it uh, on this older one the uh, frame is not attached to the tent itself and I think on the newer ones the uh, the frame is actually attached to the canvas, so it. Uh, I think that probably makes it a little bit easier to to take down and set up. Without the foam mattresses in the tent, there's actually a lot of room when uh, it's folded up. So I've got a lot of space to put uh, some soft gear, uh, which I certainly did on on this trip. Uh, down to North Carolina and it was a great place to, to throw uh, 
uh, some extra things that I had. Pretty easy to close it up. Uh, you'll notice at the back end I've got two Ram Ball mounts for uh, for cameras and I use them on the, the way down for sure and those are going to be really good for me for the rest of uh, videoing with the the camper when, when traveling and I'm going to put a front mount on as well um, but right now I'm about to attach the solar panel for the very first time now this is only a 50 watt uh, Noma panel on for pretty well half price or less at Canadian Tire and I just couldn't resist it and I've made a frame for it and I'm using some U-bolt bolts to, uh, to attach it to the uh, the trailer itself and it's a matter of just sliding it on from the front end and then lining up and sliding it on from the back end and as you can see it's it's only going to take me a couple of minutes once I get used to this and then snug down the the uh, wing nuts that are on it they're just quarter inch wing nuts so yeah I'll uh, keep a few extra ones around all the time and the u-bolts are extremely uh, they're extremely common uh, I can't remember the size offhand so it's just a matter of snugging it down uh, not trying to be over tight And what I did with the U-bolts was I took some some soft quarter inch tubing and slid it around the U-bolts so they're actually soft biting into the the uh, light steel frame of the of the uh, trailer. Well, it's certainly it's solid on there, that's for sure. And that's already getting power. There we go. So that battery is powering already. As soon as we get up the sunshine, that's going to even power up more. I'm set to take a run up to Gross Morn to look at the fall colors and get a feel for the trailer as fully loaded as it is. I also want to see how the solar panel acts. Does it act like a wing? Anyway, put a couple of gallons of water in the cooler to make sure I really have a true feeling for the tongue weight. And uh, we're ready to go. So that video will be coming up soon and there will also be lots of videos on the solar system and other such things. But thanks for watching.